One of the greatest lightning talks I've ever seen was uh, by a guy named uh, Gary Bernhardt at CodeMash 2012. He did something called uh, Watt, yep. Yep. right? Fantastic. If you haven't seen it and you're a JavaScript developer, you need to see it because he talks about some really, really wacky things you can do with Ruby and JavaScript. And one of those things starts like this. What is array plus array? It's empty string, right? We're going to use this. We're going to build on it, and we're going to do some crazy things with it, right? So if we know that that's empty string, we can use truthiness to say that not array is false and not not array is true. And it also goes to show that if you add a plus before this, you're going to get 0 and 1, right? And so if you want 2, you can just, sorry, that's 3 say 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. And if you want 10, well, you can start with a 1, and you can add an empty array, and you got a string. Now you can use string concatenation, right? And we know what 0 is, right? It's plus not empty array, and you get 10. And so like, you can now do this character um, concatenation to create uh, any number you want. And if you want the integer out of it, well, that's fine you can get the integer out of it as well. So that's a lot of fun, right? Uh, you can get numbers, fantastic. But what if I told you with those six characters, we could do any arbitrary JavaScript at all and execute it? Does this make it turn complete at this point? It will be. It actually will be. So watch this. So we need characters now. Let's start with the letter A. We know that if we have a word, let's say, false, and index it 1, we can get the letter A. Right? And we know what false is, right? False is not array. Oops, sorry. Not array. And then you want to make it into a string plus empty array is false. Right? And then put some parentheses around that and index to one. And we know that one is plus not not empty array. And you get the letter A. OK. So now you can get these letters and you can concatenate any string together with any letters that are in the words true and false. Doesn't get you very far, but let's, let's get another word. Let's index, let's create an empty array and index into it, zero, which we know how to create, right? Undefined. Add an empty array, you get a string, and now you've got any of the letters in true, false, or undefined, which gives you a very important word, filter. You can now create the word filter, which gives you a function. This is the filter function on the array. And of course, if you add an empty array to that, you can now index into this and get any character here as well. This gives you another word, constructor. Now constructor, what's the constr anybody know what the constructor of a function is? It's the function object. So if you have the function object, you can now put any arbitrary code inside of that with a string. So I could do something like console log hello world. And I get a function with console log hello world, and then I can execute it with parentheses. Now, how do you get all those characters? Well, we showed you how to get all those characters. You do all these different wacky combinations and index into them and concatenate them, and you can get now, um, you can execute really anything. And so there's this um, tool, um, jswatt.org, created by a guy named Martin Klepp. Um, and basically, you go in here, and you can encode whatever you want. There's hello world. And come on. Sorry. Let's clear this out, paste that in. And here's hello world. That's the code that I just wrote using that mechanism. And if I execute it, it says, hello world. OK. So why is this useful? <laughs> it's actually useful. So it's a cross-site scripting attack vector. eBay got in trouble a couple months ago because they were validating their inputs, assuming that if there was JavaScript in there, they'd be alphanumeric. And so 
people found that if they encoded the JavaScript this way, it was a big payload, but they could put it, people could put it in their uh, listings, and they could actually pop up a, um, a alert box, or a, um, not alert box, but a pop-up window that asked for your username and password. You'd enter it in, and it would send it off to some other place, or install malware, or something like that. Um, so the moral of the story there is you need to validate your inputs. Um, so they fixed it a little bit by saying that, that the payload can only be a certain size. <laughs> and then, the, then after they, they said, we'd break too much stuff. So it's still out there. Um, so jswatt.org, you can find out more. You can play. You can look up the entire lookup table of how you get to all the different characters. There's just there's, there's a lookup for every single one. Like b, for example, would be a function that returns an object, which now has object. Turn that to a string, you get b. Um, and then also there's a link to that epic code mash presentation that if you haven't seen, you have to see. So that's it. Thank you.